I'm excited to be here with Lana Dingwall, and we met because we have mutual friends, uh, Greg Faxon, Gemma Gilbert. Um, I, we kind of share uh, similar values, and we both love to help people with their with their business. So, Lana, um, it's so interesting. You have you do both business coaching. You also recently started brick and mortar business, yep. which I really admire because. Um, it's not, it's not easy to do brick and mortar and, and you're really walking the talk like you, you, you know, so, but I, I want you to briefly introduce yourself to my audience. Um, maybe we could, you could say, what do you think makes you different than many or some business coaches out there? Mm, okay. Yes. My name is Lana. I do business coaching. I feel like though, that's just like a word, you know, to help categorize the style. I work a lot with socially and spiritually conscious entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So people who really feel that their work is an extension of them and they're looking to find a way to have the impact that they desire both out in the world, but also in their, in their own lives as well through whatever it is that they do and make money while doing it. And I also happen to really like those things. So that's why I found myself there. Yeah. And the question was, what was the question? You well, I, I, I'll, I mean, you, you can, I'd love for you to share. Is there a, is there a particular message mm. or perspective that you feel needs to be shared more often in, you know, when, when people are thinking about creating a, a business that's aligned? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would say, I think the thing I always want people to think about is, who are you without barriers, expectations, the mm. shoulds, the social constructs, conditioning, all of that kind of stuff. Because I, I believe that uh, as humans, but especially as entrepreneurs, where we're really looking to create something and bring it into existence, the more that we can understand and know ourselves without barriers, the easier it is for us to do what's in alignment for us. Because I'm a big energy person. I have a feeling you are too. And so, it, you know, if, even if you think of like a, a magnetic and we hear often about opposites attracting, I like to think of it as, you know, a magnet can simultaneously move towards and pull the thing that like the opposite to it. And so I find entrepreneurship is really this beautiful space of mastering that in between where to know ourselves without barriers allows what we want to come because we start to realize where our limiting beliefs, where we may be sabotaging ourselves, where we may be doing things because we think we're supposed to versus because we want to, but then also putting in the energy of actually doing and building and creating. And I find when you focus in that sweet spot, that harmony, uh, that's where you really see people and entrepreneurs it, where they're able to create a lot of things and do it in a way that feels in alignment with them. So I think that that is definitely what I tell people. And that's like my style of coaching. I like, as a human, like I'm queer, I'm non-binary. So I also just even find like, I already operate like genuinely in this, the in-between space or the space between even, you know, the masculine energy, the feminine energy. Um, and that's where I feel like I have this unique experience of genuinely living a life of, of both. Uh, and so it, it's this, that has kind of impacted how I do my business and queerness in general for, you know, it's, I, I feel like it was this beautiful gift where, well, society already has its opinions of me. It already has these ideas of me. So I might as well just do whatever I want anyway. Uh, and it, it, it has been like this really interesting, liberating process and, that kind of, I take that same energy in with my clients where it's like, how can you also liberate yourself from, again, whatever boxes or things or expectations and so that you can build something that's genuinely in alignment versus building something that you think you're supposed to say you want to build and do because that's what you're supposed to say and do. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, I recently saw on your Instagram, your post about creative freedom um, and not belonging. Uh, mm. tell us a bit about that because I think that's, that's a powerful message. Yeah. Uh, I think that this, especially with the world as it is right now, we are social creatures. Like we are community oriented. So we so deeply desire to belong. Uh, and sometimes we want to belong so much that we're actually willing to betray ourselves in the process of, of group acceptance. And when we kind of look at belonging, I think it's important, again, getting to know yourself without barriers, 
like who actually are you and how do you want to express yourself and how do you want to live your life and what makes you feel most fulfilled and doing that and belonging to yourself and and by in turn like you know belonging to yourself allows you to attract other people who want to belong with you even if even if they live differently or look differently or do things differently and you know you have this commonality about you and there is creative freedom in not belonging because you can say okay well whatever I can do whatever I want anyway it's almost liberating sometimes when we accept the fact that uh, I, I don't belong here but maybe I'm not supposed to and instead of trying to make myself fit maybe I actually need to figure out instead where is it that I should be where should I put my time and energy and it isn't about right or wrong it's about figuring out what's right for us yeah it's beautiful and I, I this is a great message for well, for all of us who who care um about making the world a better place uh, because it, that dynamic of caring um, sometimes comes with people pleasing, right? I think there's, it's, it's related. And so I, I think there probably are a lot of people in my audience who uh, deal with you know, um, people, people pleasing. I think all of us you know, growing up in, in, in a structured educational environment and our upbringing, it tends to yeah, exacerbate that. So I really, uh, really honor and, and appreciate your taking a stand and uh, modeling what it's like to to not have to go go that way um, and to express. And so I, I hope folks will follow you on social media and see how you're doing it. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a bit about what is the service or product that you most uh, love to provide and for whom? I mean, you've told us a bit about whom, but mm -hmm. yeah, tell us more about that service or product that you love to provide. I know there's probably multiple, but tell us one. About yeah, I, I think one of, I always love one-on-one -on -one coaching. So one-on-one -on -one business coaching, mostly because it, it, I have no cookie cutter. I feel like you don't either. So it, it's like this really beautiful space to become really intimate and deep dive in with a person and help them get to know themselves without barriers and help them create what they want to create. Uh, but I'm, I really love the Lighthouse Collective. It, it uh, has been years and years in the making. And it's, so it's a community for socially and spiritually conscious people where we talk about business. We talk about uh, not politics in the sense of like uh, a divide around, you know, who do you like, what side of the thing are you on? But we, we look at it more again as an, as an example the concept of we seek to oppress uh, in other people what we are oppressing in ourselves. So we explore like, what are we oppressing in ourselves and how is that maybe actually showing up in our politics or in our views of certain things in society? And then we have the spiritual conscious part of it too, where we explore things. And even from like, does the idea of living, thinking that you live just one life make you uh, a worse off person, maybe more selfish than if you think of reincarnation, because, you know, maybe in relation to earth, you might be more environmentally conscious. Who knows if you think you're going to have to come back again. So we kind of explore all these different topics. Uh, and it's, it's cool because none of them seem to fit, but in the lighthouse collective, they do. And it's interesting because not everyone, uh, not everyone falls on the same space of, of it, but it, it, it's such a safe community where, again, we really recognize there is no right or wrong. There's just what's right for us. And we're going to like respect and honor each other uh, and just cool people doing really cool things in their business as well. So it's fun all around. That's great. Yeah. It's like a, a community of kindred spirits and yeah. you, you welcome people to share uh, authentically with, with one another and, um, and find connections and encouragement, guidance and that's beautiful. That's a really, that's a great, great vision. Um, so uh, when, well, I mean, I'll, I'm sure I'm going to have links below to your social media and website. Um, what's the next step if someone wanted to, to potentially work with you? Uh, I would say, well, yeah, there's always like the, the classic, you can book in a call style thing, but I'm very, uh, well, that's, that's very generous and that's, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. You can definitely book in a call and also just, yeah, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram or an email. Uh, if you just kind of want to get to know me and chat a little bit and ask some questions, I take a very friendly, open approach to, to my work. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lana. I really, uh, enjoy getting to know you and uh, hopefully folks who are watching, if you're feeling inspired, um, connecting with uh, Lana's energy and message, 
take a look at the you know the uh, social media and the website below and maybe book in a call with her if it sounds right for you so thanks i so thank much. you for having me <laughs>